Welcome back to Thionite Plays Xenoblade Chronicles 3. On the last episode, we assaulted Colony Mew so we could test their defenses against powers like Mobius and Ouroboros, and we completely and utterly trounced them with no small amount of time. But that was in the last episode, and on this episode, we're going to see if there's actually anything to the fact that they said we are going to reinforce the gates. And if there isn't, we're going back to Colony 9, because there is stuff to do in Colony 9 that we actually have to take care of. I wonder if it's a gossip thing that we've conveniently already gotten. I'll do a one quick run once around, a quick look around all of the the colony really quick to see if there is uh, anything we can do. There might be something up above on the gates. Uh, I have vague memories. Oh, that's their escape boat. Is there a quest involving the escape boat? Because if you remember from the last episode, they did say that they wanted to do gate reinforcement so that they could buy time to escape. And this, I believe, is the culmination of their efforts. A wonderful boat. Their sailboat. Can I embark on mine? Oh, uh, I get in my really tiny one. Well, that's fine. Can we go... Back to the main gate. Right, that's just the Armus. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Oh, gossip. Wonderful. All done. There's nothing like the shine of something that's brand spanking new, is there? It took a whole lot of effort, but it was well worth it in the end. What was worth it? And what a job we did. There's nothing we can't do if we put our mind minds to it. Oh, excuse me for that. The new gate. That's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about, baby. The gate gossip. Three cheers for gate gossip. Oh, I didn't get... Oh, I completely forgot to get the stuff for the Armus. Uh, let me see if... Uh, we'll do the gate. We'll talk about the gate first, and then we'll see if I can't scrounge together a bunch of food for the Armus. Because I know I, I did say I would, always, I would do more Armu stuff for each episode. But as long as it falls within each episode, it'll be fine. Oh, my God. More stuff for Mew. There's so many side quests in Colony Mew. I believe the usual saying goes, seeing is believing. But even after seeing it, I cannot quite believe how impressive Colony Mew's gate has become. Heh <laughs> Thanks, Tyon. We worked hard on it to make it mega, mega, mega tough. Certainly. The resilience is a major factor. What's up with that face? You got reservations. Having a gate's not important. What counts is, is it stopping the enemy? In other words, it would be to your benefit to reduce the capabilities before they can even reach the gate. We have been training with cannons. Do you think that might not be enough? You can never be too prepared. Okay, so what do you propose? How about some pitfall traps, perhaps? Would be pretty tough to camouflage, no? Especially with that entirely all-metal bridge. Hard to make pitfalls in a metal bridge. Uh, hmm. What about, what, what can we do with the terrain? I'd like to investigate in person. We might come up with some ideas on the ground. Would you mind if I inspected the gate as well? Not at all. Please be my guest. Tyon, we always value your insights. Treasured memory. A new quest. A wonderful, wonderful, wonderful new quests. I genuinely was not expecting to spend so long in Colony Mew, and yet here we are. I suppose that's, you know, the state of things. How much stuff can we give to the Armus, and can we make this happen? I am sure they, like all of us, miss you dearly, Fiona. Thanks a lot to your help. Well, the adolescents are almost grown. Portion size. Uh, dish philodendrons. Right, they're down to two because they were halved. Uh, let's bring everything down to three. Frangible yams. Uh, what about the plumage peaches? Oh, they're up to five. Um, heart peaches, they would be good. Khaki kernels. Oh, can we? If no, uh, do it. Just donate everything. I, I want to keep my word. I can keep my word. Do the armu barley as well. And then, uh, dish philodendron and frangible yams. Cool. I kept my word. I did more armu progress. How time flies. My nearly groans are now fully grown up. 
Oh, thank you for everything you've done for us. Well, I'm just so very glad I could help. Thank you very much. All my sweeties can now stuff their little bellies nice and full. All that's left now is to select the, to select the big armus and ardens one by one and pair them together. The day after it rains, a little one should be born. And then the armus and the ardens you paired up need to be compatible with each other as well, right? Absolutely. I'd like to ask for your advice again if you don't mind. This is the second pair of Armu and Arden companions that we need to determine. So if you remember, the second one is the Naughty Armu and the Considerate Arden. That is the pair that you want for Arden number two. What about pairing the Considerate Arden with the Naughty Armu? You can bet every day would... Oh, excuse me. I apologize for that. Oh, excuse my pauses. It's very late at night and I can't get a grasp on my language. You can bet every day would be a laugh and a half with those two together. They sound both pretty open-minded. Well, I certainly don't mind laughter-filled days. <laughs> Did you see? <laughs> I don't suppose you guys saw Tallow falling off the gate when he was trying to set up the turrets. Oh, talk about laughs. We <laughs> will never let him live that down. He landed in a pair of, you know, uh, fish guts. So, he stank up the place, but it was pretty hilarious watching him trying to scrub it all off in the ocean. Oh, we laughed and laughed. In that case, I guess we'll go with the pairing you suggested. I've already forgotten the pairing, so yeah, go for it. Thank you so much. Then I think we found our pairing. Now we just have to wait for the rain, right? Perhaps we could ask Pitapata to summon some rain if we really need to. Let's circle back when it's rained. All right, we'll be waiting. At some point, if there is a serotypish... Serotypish? If there is a, a cut of serendipity, then we can, you know, make it rain. But until then, we're just going to inspect the gate. Michaela, how is the gate going? Give me gate updates. The gate gossip and the gate updates, everything was wonderful. Hello, and thanks for all your hard work. If you're curious about the gate, then I can assure you it's perfect. Well, yeah, about that. We've been talking about trying to do something to make the gates easier to defend. Whoa, awesome timing then. Tallow's been saying we need to do that as well. Like, not just make ourselves all sturdy, but also change how we fight to fit around it all. Well, I thought we'd discussed that already. No, I'm not just talking about the gate. I mean, like, before, when we fought, we relied super heavily on you, Fifi. So we want to try out all sorts of new things. That'll ensure we all make it together. Aw, me, Miki, I love you. Oh, I love you too. Tallow, why are you why are you concerning why are you talking to us over the iris? Michaela, come in, do you read me? This sounds serious. Whoa, not so loud. What is it, Tallow? Close the gate. Mobius incoming. What? Roger that. Oh, should we intercept him? No. Let's wait until we have a better overview of the situation. We don't want to act rashly and incur casualties. Everyone, assume your battle stations. We'll get in position atop the gate. Oh, we actually have a serious incursion. A true test of the gate against the Mobius. Cannons are ready to fire. Stay calm and aim carefully. Try and, you know, press that fire trigger on between heartbeats and when your breath is held. Remember your training. I know, all right? I was there. Launch the nukes and throw the cheese. What's the damage? What's all this? Be that a new colony or some such? You've got to be snuffing me. Oh dear, second salvo on my mark. Nah, hold it. Hold up, I say. Everyone hold. Hold fire. Hold fire. It's just Triton. How could we... Of course it's Triton. He's the only Mobius that we would ever try and dress ourselves up as. I mean, like, the only one else I would consider would be... What are you guys doing? Are you guys... What are you... It's like, please... Guys, guys, I know Senna's got magnificent legs, but, like... Seriously, just jump down, take the ladder. What are you... Triton, please, I'm surrounded by morons. Please, please give me some interesting conversations. 
How you doing, Consul T? Ahoy, laddie, what's the story? That was gonna be my line. Don't just appear out of nowhere like that. You'll terrify people. Mm, um, excuse me. Uh, sorry for firing on you. We really thought you were an enemy. All that. Ah, don't sweat it, little lass. You gotta be real careful at CI. Your judgment was sound, no mistaken. Especially since I am Mobius. Ha ha ha. You're Mobius. Ah, something wrong, lass. You never seen a Mobius before. Oi, careful, no need for. Lanlan, it's okay. Lanlan? Who is Lanlan? Did you really have to say it twice? Anyway, none of your business. You're actually the second Mobius I've spoken to. Ah, you're a lucky sea biscuit then, lass. Ain't many has had the privilege and lived to tell the tale. Yeah, I think so too. I'm Fiona. What's your name? My name's Cap'n Triton, but you can address me as Cap'n for short. I'll do that, Cap'n. Huh, I barely heard you. Have you been eating right? Go on, say it again, and this time project from your belly. C Cap'n! Ah, ha ha ha, that's the spirit. I likes ye, lass. This is one step away from abuse. Uh, back to the point. What are you doing here? Don't tell me it's another treasure hunt. Ah, but I'll tell you, lad. And t'was a good guess. A man of the sea may never rest. I was actually searching for a little something here. Oh, really? Then let me help you. I want to make amends for, uh, the misunderstanding. Ah, Fiona. Please, please do not get taken in. This guy's three servos sort of a power frame. Well, I'm mighty pleased to have you on board, lass, but it can wait until after lunch. Take me to your mess hall. I am hungry for grub, and I will eat you out of heart and home. Whoa, you're in a hurry, aren't you? Who's showing who around here? He doesn't listen. Same as usual. But he's not a bad person. I can tell from talking to him. Well, everyone's getting along. if Fiona says so, then I am inclined to agree. Titan... Titan? Triton. Un can Which is the button? Yeah, that's the button. Unfortunately, a Triton walks at a snail's pace and offers no type of small talk nor conversation. I, I feel like every one of us should temporarily dress up as Triton. Can we do that? I don't think we can do that. Fiona, can we get some small talk? We're, all, we're walking rather slow. Triton, why are you even here? What are you searching for? Besides food. Well, I mean, like, not that good food isn't something to search for. I'm, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, Triton, it's, it's rather unexpected that you would come up out of the blue. I don't even know where you normally stay, Triton. It's like, normally, like, people, people like Monica, they sit in the city. Gondor, stop shish, shawshang all over the place. You'll spark strange ideas in land. So, if, uh, Triton, if land starts walking like that, I will blame you. Anyway, Monica hangs out around the city. Gondor's in the castle. Where do you hang out, Triton? I feel like I should know this. But I don't. I have a vague idea of where he actually stays. And we can think about that maybe in the future. I need to do more stuff with Triton. But that's why Lance is currently, you know, suited up as Triton. Triton, the mess hall the mess hall is out in that direction. Triton, you're going you're going in the wrong di the wrong direction. Oh, are you are you following me? Or is your pathing just borked? Triton, that is a rock. Oh, fine. I, why are we going this way? Triton, you're pathing. This is the, the mess hall. Triton, uh, tri Triton, the mess hall. It's up the hill. It's up the hill by those tents. Oh, old man. Old man syndrome. He's just... All right. All, it's, it's like, I'll push him over to the mess hall. It won't take not but a moment. You've stopped. Triton, wh why, why have you stopped? Why? Okay, apparently we're talking to you, Triton. Oi, don't just wander off. <laughs> I could smell something good wafting from over here. There's no reasoning with him, is there? All right then, spill it. What booty are you after this time? And let me remind you that these are very young-termed individuals, so don't get ahead of yourself. A blistering mahoo. A, a blistering mahoo. 
mahusive a, a really big clam. Again with the food. You got that right, lad. You season it with salt and alcohol. Then ste we steam the potatoes. We steam the clams. What else? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Manana, manana, manana. We need to get on this. We, there is an injustice in the world where everyone thinks the only appropriate way to cook food is to steam it. At the very least, he adds salt and booze to the dish, but like fried in oil, butter, smoked any other way than steaming it. So it's a big clam you're after. Hmm. I don't know if I've seen it. Way back, they brought him up by the bushel load, and then they had contests to see who could eat the most. Ah, there were no colony here back then, mind you me. Really? Fiona, can we take him to the canteen? People are seriously staring. Oh, we will continue walking. Triton, I will find you a clam if you just pick up the pace a little. Speed. We need speed. It's right over there. Oh, Triton. Oh, Triton. I get that you're old, but like, you're Mobius. You should be able to just teleport over there. Go faster. Please go faster. Do you want to talk more? More, Triton? All right. All right. Regale me with your stories, magic man. Captain, how long have you been alive? <laughs> I forget. When you live as long as I have, you tend to stop caring about minor details like that. That's all you had to say? Triton, stop interrupting my incredibly timed cuts of like four seconds. I go silent for four seconds, and then I cut it out. And you're like, oh, time to talk. Can we just talk at the canteen, please? Save us all the time. Oh, he's here. Uh, hello and welcome. Hey, pull yourselves together. <laughs> this is so stressful. Ah. Lass, are ye the cook? The smell, the smelly smell that smells. Smelly. I smell something creamy. May have a sauce? Is sauce become out? I am not a gourmand. I do not know these words. It's a sauce made of armu milk, is specialty of friend Lotus. Ah, it sounds delicious. It also tastes delicious. Therefore, have to ask please not to teasing esteemed cook of Lotus. Of course, of course. Them that make the food we eat deserve our highest respect. They hold the keys to happiness after all. Making folk unhappy, easy as pie. But bring in joy, that's a harder Lexos to reel in. I, uh... I'm sorry, what does that mean? Was that a compliment? Triton may be a Mobius, but he's our ally. You don't need to be frightened of him. Our other Mobius also that big. Triton, I feel like, is a bit of an exception. Well, X is... No, not X. X is a tiny, tiny slip of a thing. Y, on the other hand, is quite massive. Anyway. Thoughts of Y's incredibly dense forearms aside, Irma wasn't like that at all. Irma was also, you know, trying to blend in with the rest of the colony. Oh, Lass, lad, were you the ones that shot at me? Uh, how did he know? Whiff of gunpowder smoke. Ah, you really let me have it, eh? Thanks to you, I've worked up a majestic old appetite. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Why is he laughing? Beats me. Hey, Lottie, do you know if there are any big shellfish around here? The big shellfish? Hmm. Oh, do you mean clamaths? They grow to the size of a person's face sometimes. That's it. The clamath. Where you get those? Oh, I think it was a beach somewhere, but I've only seen the real thing once, so I don't exactly remember. We find a lot of shellfish around Crescent Cliffs, I think. Or sometimes Needle Reef Beach as well. It may be better to check a few places then. Continuing on, you crew. I'll be waiting, waiting right here. Oh, you're not helping us look. Begging your pardon, laddie. It's getting close to me dinner time. You want to join me for that, kiddos? What? 
Uh, us? No, I don't mean I'm gonna eat ya. Relax. Eater, come closer. <laughs> Triton, please don't frighten the children. I'm not gonna scream in, in the voice of a child. I'd blow. I'd either become incomprehensible because the mic will peak and not record anything, or I'll make your ears bleed. <laughs> you let your guard down. What do you think you're doing? Put a lid on it, you muppet. Captain, all due respect, please be nice to my crew. Otherwise, you can forget the clams. Oh, ho, ho, you'll have to pardon me, lassie. Seems I done plum forgot me manners. That's all right, so long as we're clear. Now I'm scared of her. Yeah, you don't want to make Fifi cross. We'll go and find some Klamaths then. Hold the fort for us, guys. Aye, aye, lassie. You don't mind picking up the tab for me, do you, lad? What? Do we get paid for trying to find people? I suppose we get a bit of money at the end of quests, but, like, not that much. Oh, my God, 3,000 meters away, 5,000 meters away. Oh, if I had to guess, it would be the 5,000 meters. Where are our options? I vaguely remember. Oh, I'm... What is this one? The Ultimate Vessel. Oh, that's some origin ore. We're not going to focus on that. If I'm not mistaken, I believe it's this one? I think it's that one. Let's go to Vinisog Home Camp and then take our boat all the way over there. I could be wrong. I don't think I am, though. Oh, to joyously sail upon the open seas. Hopefully this is the place. I believe this might be the place. I could be wrong. Needle Reef Beach. So where are we going and what are we actually looking for? Besides the wonderful glow of booty. I will, I will never leave that behind if I can help it. How much money? 3,500 and some rocks. Gotta love the rocks. So, we've got to find clams. If I were a clam, if I were a clam the size of a person's head, where would I be? A sandbank. Oh, we probably have to dig in the sand for the clams. Sandy clams. That's how they make pearls. Oh, there's something buried here. Time to get digging. Dig in the sand, dig in the sand. You got a worn out boot. Of course, this is the Animal Crossing stream where we dig up holes on the beach and find rotten tires and half-eaten apple cores. What's this? It's trash. Seriously? It's still too soon to give up. Let's try checking the other location. You put the worn out boot back. Why? The littering. Please, guys, take it with you. Unless it's like the home of some crab. Fine. Let's try somewhere else. We will. Yes. 6,000 meters in that direction. Where, where are we going? What's the next area? And do we have a fast method of getting over there? We have the Hermit's Inlet location. That should be easy enough to get to, I suppose. Won't say no to that. Oh, to be a sailor on the open waves. Here we are at another beach. Hopefully, it's right here. It's Crenzen Cliffs. Gotta love Crenzen Cliffs. Where are the clams? Is this a skip travel point that I've never been to? It is. It's the fourth pillar remnant. Well, I'm glad to have uh, found that. That should be helpful for the future. Sandbank. Please, I have money to... Store. Time is going to reset in three days. What do we have? Isn't that a clam? All right, my time to shine. You got a humongous egg. Wow, that's enormous. What even laid that egg? Well, I couldn't tell for certain, but I would vote against staying here to find out. Good call. The Klamath might be on some other beach somewhere. Let's go back and see if Triton hasn't remembered anything else. You put the humongous egg back. Well, that one I can absolutely understand. All right, that's fine. That's wonderful. That's lovely. 3,000 meters in that direction. Let's see if we can't pull off the incredible, amazing Senna skip. Senna, please. We have to align the camera perfectly, and let's hope we can get the Senna skip. 
Senescape achieved. Triton, we have not found the clams. You look like you already have enough food and you want clams on top of this. I see, no luck, eh? Are you sure you don't have any other hints? Nothing you saw in the vicinity? I'd tell you if I did, lass, but all I remember is the sand. Hmm. Wait a blunder in second. I feel like there may have been some sand falling from up above. Yeah, there was some fallen sand. That certainly sounds like a lot of snuffing sand then, isn't it? It could be Lavi Sandbar. Let's see if that's it. All right, to Lavi Sandbar. Oh, Fiona, you are more optimistic than I. It's probably as big as someone's head. 2,000 meters. Lavi Sandbar. We should have a hulk right around that area that we can go to. And that is the correct assumption. Which hole do we need to slide down? Have we gotten the rocks from these Nopon? I believe we have. Um, it should be right below there, so probably this one. Down the secret tunnel. Oh god, it's going Oh no. Oh, the sandbank. Okay, if we're if we're quick, if we're quick and careful, quick and careful. Mash, 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 get it before it notices us. Wonderful. We got it before the giant spider noticed us. Hey, look, there's something big in the ground here. I really hope we got it right this time. Why, you got better places to be? Less yapping and more digging, I say. Uni, if you're not going to be useful, shut up. It's the Klamath. We found the Klamath. All right, we did it. Good going, Fifi. Aw, thanks, Senny. I'm glad we found it, but it's definitely no easy to transport this thing. You think that's why no one comes to gather them anymore? With the exception of Triton, obviously. Makes sense that no one would know this place apart from him. I mean, there's a, there is an entire caravan of Nopons up above us. I feel like they might be aware of it. Let's get this back to the captain then. I'm sure he'll be excited for it. Well, that's putting it lightly. All right, back to Colony Mew then. Can we get this? Please, Funny give it to me. Here, huh? I'm stuck under the spider if it... What are you... Why are we playing with our food? Fiona, don't play with... We need to get out of here before we are noticed by something terrifying. To the map. To the map, to the map, to the map, to the map. All the way... Back to the colony. Colony Mew, Canteen, Triton, I have got the Mammoth Klamath. I hope you approve. Triton, Clam... One clam slammed on the table. Oh, that one goes up so much quicker than the Armus. Ah, yes, thar it be, and no mistaken. It brings back memories. I remember digging the sand full of holes in search for this elusive bivalve. Some things don't change, eh? Next time you can look for it yourself. How about that? Does it even count as treasure if it's not you that found it? Hmm. Those words, they tug at me mind. Ah, yes. Now I remember. It was I that said something like that once upon a time. Wait, who said it? You did, but... Nay, I mean I, the sourpuss Mobius. She'd walk around carrying this empty treasure chest, saying when she found a treasure, she'd put it inside. So I try to put a Klamath inside, and what do I get for my trouble? A severe tongue lashing, so I did. Yeah, what else did you expect? She said that the things only have value when you found them for yourself, or some such. But that's hogwash. She'd lost track of what's really important. Were you two friends? Well, I suppose we were at that. Strangely feels lonely to think of her as a mere acquaintance. If it feels lonely, it's because you've shared tons of fun times together. If you wanted to be around each other, that's friendship, all right. Sounds like you had a friend like that yourself, eh, lass? Yeah, a very special, much-loved friend. Someone I'll never be able to forgive. Or forget. <laughs> Sounds like you've butted head pretty hard there. You can tell. Aye, great happiness and great suffering are blown in by the same winds, you know. You've got to take the good with the bad. 
and the bad with the good. Both these things are only possible when you've got a connection, and even that only when you're completely honest. She must have been a good friend, lass. Thank you, Captain. My memories of her are quite important. You could say that they're my treasure. Very well said. I wonder which one would win if we sent them in a contest against my Klamath, eh? Well, I don't think I want to compare them. The value of memories is relative anyway. Each one is special, and its own little treasure. That's why you can never have too many friends, I think. Aw, oh, lassie. You're something else. But you're right about one thing. You can never have enough treasure. So I'm glad we managed to become such fast friends. Ah, oh, no. Was that too soppy? Tell me it weren't too soppy. No, no, not at all. So please, drop by for a chat whenever you feel like. Ah, to be sure, lass. Just make sure you don't die before then. <laughs> Same to you, Cap'n. It's a promise. Wonderful. A shockingly and surprisingly heartfelt little quest revolving around Triton and Fiona. Oh, I can't wait to actually get to Triton's Ascension quest. I have a feeling... It might be a bit more different than you might expect if you don't know what's coming. Treasured memory. Triton's shock visit was certainly very eventful for everyone involved, but Fiona now has a new friend in him. Oh, that smells gorgeous. Ah, uh, Fiona. I hope everyone's getting along. I guess we can get you some food. Do you have an affinity link with Triton? Unique friendship. Oh, uh, an updated affinity with Irma. I understand. Okay, well, I'm glad it's up in the pink. That's good, I suppose. So, now that that is out of the way, do we actually have anything left to do in Colony Mew? Please tell me that we don't. Please, please, please tell me that we're good. I'll do once, one quick little once around all around the colony, and then we will uh i suppose we still have time in this episode we'll stop back in and actually finish up the stuff in colony nine we'll do that thing for ellis if there's nothing else right if there's nothing else in colony mew i'll meet you guys back up in colony nine to hopefully take care of whatever that quest no the army was well they might have oh they set up the fence seems a bit of a easy thing to get out of but, I mean, maybe the Armus want to stay now that we're actually feeding them. So, doesn't look like there's anything else. So, we can go to Colony 9 now. Oh, that smells gorgeous. Fiona, would you like some food? I have a feeling that you might appreciate some food. All right. Can we maybe train? No, we're going to eat. The core tenant of good martial art mastery is, you know, eat well, train well, rest well. And that's... That it, that's the way of things. Have we gotten these from Manana? I know we've had the spongy spuds, so get some uh, Yapolta veggie beans. Eat the veggie beans. Lick those plates clean, guys. Yeah, I don't want to hear any kind of complaining from anyone about the food. I, Manana has learned some feisty, spicy zest beans. Another recipe Are into the book. Sister? Yes, but now that we are here and our bellies are full, we can talk about the news that we had from Ellis a long time ago. Like, two to three episodes. That's a long time. So, about Ellis, please get us a recap on the situation. Seems like she hasn't come back to Colony 9 in forever. Ooh, this sounds a bit more urgent. We probably should have done this a bit earlier. That's worrying. No one has any idea? Not in the slightest. Looks like she up and left in a levness, so that narrows it down. I guess she's probably okay, but... If she's taken a levness out, then she might mean to bring back something big. Maybe she needs to travel a great distance. What business would she have outside Colony 9? Either way, we're gonna go find her, right? What if she's in trouble? Come on, hop up, let's go! Yeah. Ah, what? Uni, what? What is that ah for? That's right. She said something about the soil on Hope's Rest. Hope's Rest? There's nothing there anymore, though. Should we check around the prison? Let's see if we can't find her. A chance encounter. It sounds like we have a new goal. 
And then we have to make our return once more to the Cadencia region. We are going dangerously close back to Colony Mew. If we get caught in Colony Mew's orbit, we'll have to do more side quests. All right, well, if we're going back to Cadencia, to the prison, I suppose we need to go back to Cadencia and the prison. All right, well, hopefully, hopefully the Sen escape works. I think it might have worked. Oh, yep, it worked flawlessly. Time saved all of the save because she's right here. Ellis, hello, welcome, we're here. Do you need help? It looks like you need a bit of help. Ellis, huh? What are you lot doing here? We heard that you've been away from the colony for a while, so we came to look for you. What did you come all the way out here alone for? When Nopon Caravan told me that there's a good place to grow plants around here. Well, I thought I could take a load of the soil back and bring it to fertilize the fields in Colony 9. But now that I'm finally here, ready to bring the soil back, I was tired from the long journey and I made a mistake with the controls. Yeah, looks that way. Riku, you're up. As if Riku have choice. Oh! Someone's there. I can hear footsteps. The voices came from this way. Oh, it's Mamba! Oh, it's you guys! How are you doing, Mamba? You're in a patrol with the city. Oh, give us a heart attack, why don't you? Wait. Mamba? It can't be you. You're alive? Ellis, the thing is... Well, we found them in a colony that, you know, forcibly ages them up with no memory. It's, it, he's in a rough shape right now. I can't believe something like that could happen. Yeah, it was it was a shock to all of us involved. Seeing our dead friends back to, back to life. I mean, Kamaravi, Miyabi, Mwamba, it was, it was a shock to us all. It's weird to think that the Mwamba standing here isn't the Mwamba I knew. But I'm glad I got to meet him again. Ellis, our resident furball says we need to swap out some parts, but it should be fine. Are we going to have to go and track down the parts? Because of course we do. And this is a Kavesi Elevenus. We're going to have to track down Kavesi parts. I still have to find the Agnian parts. The Levenus we came in is nearby. We should have some spare parts to give you. Oh, if you're going to give us spare parts, I will thank you sincerely from the bottom of my heart. Riggy, Riggy, Reggie, thank you. So why did you come all the way out here? Hope's rest is rich in resources, so we came looking to see what we could find. The city's full of people who got out of prison like me. And that a big surge in population, well, it's not an easy thing to cope with. Let me help you out in return for fixing this up at the very least. Yeah, we're game too. What do you need? Ouroboros is up to the task. That'd be great. Okay, so what we need from you is stave petals, titanic beehives, and sodi stones. If you could get 10 of each of those, we'd be set. Think you can manage that? Oh, we sure can. Can we? That sounds suspiciously like a collectathon. Are they all around the places? Oh, oh, all right. If we... There's a location over here. Oh, these are things from around the prison. All right, so this should be easy enough. Yeah. Why Why is there... Oh, conversations. Of course, that's good. Well, then it's less a collectathon and more of a, a vehicle to get conversations, which is something I am most pleased by. Hey, how you doing, Mwamba? What's up? Riggi said I should help you guys out. So here's what we found so far. Eight stave petals. Well, that's convenient. So you've decided to transfer to the Salvage Corps. Wonderful. Hmm? We'd be sure to work you hard. Too right. Aw, oh, come on, lads. Give me a break. Are you used to living in the city yet? Well, I'm getting there, to be certain. Monica and the others have done a lot for us. Me and Hacked, you know. No, oh, that's good to hear. I wonder why his memories haven't come back, like Miyabi's. Yeah, well, when you think of how they died, that's probably for the best. I think so, too. Being, uh, choked out by Mobius is probably slightly more... Yeah, yeah, you stick the thing away. It's probably slightly more traumatizing 
to be snapped like a twig by a Mobius than it is to uh, give your life to, you know, save your friends. Miyabi is, you know, a really fantastic person. We all love Miyabi for very good reason. Stop moaning about the heights. Oh, it's hacked. Everyone's here. Let's give the Agnian people some uh, things to talk about. Hey, hacked. We'll go salvaging with you. Sure. So much already frowned. Hacked a genius searcher. Mwamba's the genius. He told me all the tricks. Can I ask you to take the stuff I can't carry? Of course you can. A pleasure of us to help. Seven more sodi stones. Nice. Are you friends with Mwamba? Uh, yeah. Oh, excuse me. We've been through a lot together. He's one of those guys who takes people under his wing, you know? Huh. It seems like he's getting on well in the city. It seems so. It's always stayed with me, how we couldn't save him from D. We know, we know it isn't him, but... Still. I'm glad that his time... I'm glad that this time we got to save him too. As am I. It's very heartening to see everyone at the very least alive. They 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 may not have their memories, but they're doing well, and that is something I am quite grateful for. Senna, I'm so glad that you're enthusiastic about all of this. Lord knows if I had as much enthusiasm for collectathons, we would be like two to three quests ahead of where we are. That girl in Elevenus was looking for titanic beehives as well. Ellis, got it. Thanks. Well, they should be just about over here. I wonder who else do we have to talk to? Because we talked to Mwamba, maybe Riggi herself? Or maybe there might just be like 10 beehives over here for us. Seems like there's four. Hey, that's the thing. Oh, no, it's Ellis, of course. Okay, here's what I've managed to find. Six beehives. Nice job. One more push and that should be it. Whoa, we picked up loads. Mwamba lent us a hand. <laughs> He's still a born salvager. He's still Mwamba, memories or not. I found the place where he was killed. By total chance, as it were. There was equipment left behind, scattered all over the place. It's still pretty hard to remember. The truth is, when I crashed the Levinus, I was distracted, thinking about him. So I was really surprised to see him. Oh, Alice. He's doing okay though, right? That's what he said. And that's good. I'm glad. I'm glad too. It's glad to see that despite all of the hardships, they're pulling through. Well... That was uh, the easiest collectathon I think we've ever done. That was so simple and easy when we ha got handed about 80% of the things that we needed to find. Oh, the egg seeds. Oh, who remembers the egg seeds? Oh, gotta love the egg seeds. And the gold burdock. Oh, man, all of the collectathons. Riggi, please, we have our reminiscence done and dusted, and I would like to continue this wonderful trade. How is everything doing? Everything looks like it's up and running. All fixed. More beautiful words you could not imagine. Oh, thank you so much. I owe you one. Everyone's probably out of their minds with worry, so I better get back to Colony 9 straight away. Make sure you at least bring a load of dirt so this is not a pointless endeavor. Not going to chat, chat with Mwamba? Hey, it's fine. He doesn't know me anyway. And it would just make me sad. Speaking of, I got to see him smile one more time. That's enough. I mean, think about it. If it was the Mwamba I know, he'd have hit me his t hit his time. Right, 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 right. If it was the Mwamba I know, he'd have hit his time a long ago. Right. I'm just glad that this time I get to say goodbye properly. Hey, you going already? Yep. I've got my own stuff I need to be getting back to at home. Ah, shame. You're from the same colony as Noah and the others, right? Right, indeed. I guess I'll see you next time, then. You... you will? 
Well, yeah. Me and Hacked have been talking about a trip when things have calmed down a bit. You know, seeing the world. And we decided our starting point would be Colony 9. You did. Uh, then I'll be waiting to say hi when you come around. Great. See you then, Ellis. Ah, see you then, Mwamba. Oh, don't you just love happy endings? Oh, this is oh, just so good. This is a very heartwarming episode. We're getting reacquaintances and new friendships. This is this is good. Quest complete. Wonderful, wonderful. A chance encounter. Ellis safely returned to Colony 9 in her repaired levness. She looks forward to a reunion with Mwamba. Wonderful. They absolutely are getting along. And we also need to be getting along because this is the end of the episode. We've done a lot in Colony Mew and I believe that was the last of the stuff that we needed to do in Colony 9. I will, of course, do a quick check all around there between episodes most likely and see if there's anything more to do. But that's that's going to be it for today. That's the end of this episode, folks. This, this was a good one. New friends and old friends reacquainted. This was wonderful. Wonderful. Oh, wonderful. So whether you guys watch this episode for 30 seconds or the entire thing, thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you in the next episode. Later.